JavaScript is a programming language of the web. This is a web page. Usually a page is composed of HTML code and a CSS code. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language and defines the content and structure of the page, like paragraph or heading text, lists and images. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets and it applies styles to the page content. This includes color, heading styles and the composition of the content. With HTML and CSS alone, the page cannot be dynamic or interactive. This is why we use JavaScript. JavaScript is referred to as client-side scripting language. When the browser loads the page, the browser has a built-in interpreter that reads and executes the JavaScript code. Let's explore how JavaScript can interact with HTML. HTML tags result in DOM elements. JavaScript lets you manipulate these elements to alter the corresponding displayed content. HTML web pages have a body tag that includes everything displayed on the page. Setting the font style of the body would change the font for all text on the page. JavaScript can access the image and change it to something else. It is possible to do a variety of things with JavaScript, such as you can animate page elements, for instance, fading them in and out, resizing them, and moving them. You can make content interactive, for example, creating games, triggering audio or video to play. JavaScript code runs locally in a user's browser. This means that an interactive web page or web app like Gmail can make changes to the interface without communicating every action with a remote server. Also, you can load new page content or submit data to the server without reloading the page. A social networking site like Facebook might allow the user to send a chat message or post a status without reloading the whole page. JavaScript can be used to validate input values of a web form, such as an email address, to make sure they are acceptable prior to them being submitted to the server. It can also transmit information about the user's reading habits and browsing activities to various websites. Web pages frequently do this for web analytics, ad tracking, and personalization.